our MSPSS variable looks highly negatively skewed. So we need to make a transformation for this variable before we can include it in something like a multiple regression. Even basic correlations, it'll certainly work better if the data is a bit more normally distributed. Now, this isn't fishing or playing with the data or transforming it. All the data points will stay in their logical order. We're just going to change the values a bit so that it has a better chance of working statistically. In this case, we're going to need to reflect the variable and apply a transformation. Given the amount of skewness, we'll probably do a log 10 transformation. So first, how do we reflect? We're going to take the highest score on this variable and add one to it, and then we're going to subtract the variable from it. So up here, when we ran Explore, we figured out that the highest value, the maximum on this, is a 7. So we're going to take an 8.0, and we're going to take 8 minus every score on this. So a score of 7 would go to a score of 1, because 8 minus 7 equals 1. Whereas if somebody had a score of 1, 8 minus 1 is 7. So we're basically reversing the scores on this. It, it reflects the variable. So let's go through and do this transformation. We're going to go transform, compute variable, and I would name it the same thing, MS, PSS, uh, total, and then I would put in an R for reflect and an SQ for, uh, or sorry, a log 10, so that I would remember I reflected it and did a log 10 transformation on it. So to find that log transformation under arithmetic, if you scroll down, you'll see LG10. If you aren't sure what it is, if you click on it, it'll tell you over, over here. It's numeric, and it returns the base 10 logarithm of the numeric expression, which must be numeric and greater than zero. If you have any scores in the data set that are less than zero, um, then we'd have to do something else with this. But in this case, we don't. We'll be fine. So we're going to go ahead and double click that. That's going to pop it in up here and we'll see the question mark is highlighted in blue. That's saying, what do you want to put in there? What do you want to return the base 10 logarithm of? And we want to return it of 8 minus our MSPSS total variable. And that's going to reflect it for us and do the log transformation. At this point, it's always a good idea to hit paste so you have some record of what you've done. Once that's in paste, you can highlight it and press the play button or the run button. And if we go back to our data set, we will see that now at the very end of our data set, we have this new variable, MSPSS reversed log 10 variable. Let's go ahead and graph that. We'll do our same explore. Let's reset that and grab our new variable and pop it over. We're going to do the same sorts of things. Let's get a histogram and some normality plots. And all of that should be fine. And click on OK. So remember, it used to look like this. Our new version of it looks like that. It's fairly normally distributed, except for this large number of zeros over here. So that's our only really problematic point in the data set at this point. Let's look at our QQ plot. Those dots are hugging that line much better than they were originally, where they were here. And if we go up here and actually look at our descriptives, our skewness was a negative 1.187, which is drastically higher than the standard error for that. And now our skewness is a 1.31 versus our standard error of 1.75. Much better. And notice that our normality test, at least the first one, is no longer statistically significant. This fits within the range of being normally uh, distributed. It's not perfect, but it's certainly better.